Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Please welcome to this presentation where I'm going to create drawings with respect to face manager classifications of this model. If I take you back on our previous uh, presentation about face manager, you'll reach to part six where I told you or I told the followers that uh, the next I'll present on how to create drawings with respect to every part class classifications under face manager now for now i'll go to manage manage and uh, manage i'll go to faces under faces now under these classifications under face manager i'll go one on one and generate shop drawings and uh, columns then base plates then uh, hound then rafters like that and uh, probably at your end you can submit for uh, for fabrication in the workshop instead of doing a whole drawing you run the whole drawings then uh, you get you run into some sort of confusion now let's get started i'll go straight to uh, I'll start with the uh, rafters or columns. I'll start with the rafters, rafter beams. Then under rafter beams, once I've selected like that, I'll go to objects by faces for the for the rafter beams to be uh, to be highlighted for for fabrication drawings creation. Now I'll go straight and click objects by faces to be highlighted. And wait for the result of selection yeah there we are and uh, let's still wait for selection once the the rafter beams have been selected we will invoke the uh, create shop drawings command then we get the result now here we are with all our rafter beams being selected ready for uh, shop drawings creation now we'll go straight to drawings and report now under drawings and report we have several ways of creating the shop drawings we have the master drawing catalog where we have variety of where we can clone our our drawings we have single part drawings we have assembly drawings we have cast unit drawings uh, and we have ga drawings now for now we want to create we want to see uh, assembly drawings for the selected rafter beams now we'll go straight and uh, hit on uh, select uh, on uh, assembly drawings there we'll click on that and wait for the result to come up perfect uh, this is what we have and uh, if you take a look down here you'll see uh, drawings uh, i mean creating drawing finished 12 drawings have been created successfully now to check that we'll go to We'll go to drawing list here and a drawing list will be able to see uh, quite a number of drawings that have been created we have created this date modifications none this just date of mod modification and uh, we can make this bigger so that we see everything now from here you can see date modified is none we've not yet modified this we've not revised this this is size of the drawings in uh, in the in paper sizes and the type is a assembly and uh, that is the mark and uh, it's under standard way of creating these drawings now if you want to maybe have one to have a look of one of them we can just go ahead and double click on one of these and remember uh, drawings are created in various categories uh, here it is under all this the general presentation and maybe you you've if you did run the whole model at a go you can now be sorting them out under single part and uh, here we don't have single part we have assembly uh, and the cast unit you can play cast unit or uh, multi drawings they are still not there and we have assembly of course all this is under assembly drawings now we want to open one of them we'll go ahead and double click once you double click you wait for it to open just give it time to open let's just give it time to open 
Yes, there we are, and uh, we can now go ahead and minimize this and uh, be able to see the drawings or the drawing that we've just requested to be opened. Now we can minimize this. After minimizing this, this is actually that uh, this is what have been actually generated under the assembly. Assembly, remember, assembly means part that is assembled to the other. So it will bring to us the, the part, the beam, the, uh, the rafter beam and the parts directly linked to it, which is the hinge. Hinge is here attached to it. Now, if you take a look here, the, our tissue block is a bit bigger is a bit smaller than our rafter beam, uh, then that is easy to manipulate. You can change the scale of both. You can change the scale of the rafter beam and change the size of the of of the of the of the drawing title block. Now, what we are going to do here is, is very simple because there are, there are, there are two types of dimensions here. Our our cumulate, uh, uh, cumulative dimensions and uh, just the, the conventional type. But cumulative dimensions and, uh, are always confusing. Now what we are going to do here uh, is, is to delete some of the dimensions because they are not necessary. Because uh, Here we just need one dimension for the castellation or the cutout of this, the cutting out detail of this. Uh, castellated beam so we don't need all the dimensions for this now what we're going to do is just to delete it to delete part or to, to delete the dimensions for the castellated beams there we are now we can right click and come to delete there all of them have been deleted now we will remain only with the important dimensions now the same you can do here is select everything there then you go ahead and click delete as simple as that right click after selection then you come to delete right there perfect now you can zoom it in and out and uh, this type of uh, dimension is called cumulative cumulative is a bit confusing for someone who is a bit is a bit new to drawings and is trying to learn something now from here to change that cumulative t uh, type of uh, dimensions you come to type dimension types click the, uh, that down arrow then come to our conventional way of doing that then cumulative then apply and accept give it an ok by clicking ok now from here you can see that you drag this down, click and drag down. You can drag that somewhere there. You can see the cleats have been also included in part of the rafter assembly. Uh, note that we requested for the assembly drawings for the rafter. Now, the technical structure will create us uh, a full and complete assembly of one rafter. Now, here is the face that attach attaches itself to the beam. This is how it looks like. And this is also very important when you will be doing the shop drawings. This will also give you uh, a quick preview or, or of uh, the end of the rafter plate dimensions. Now from here, you can be, you, you, you'll be able to modify how your bolts are represented here. Uh, you can double click on that and then come to uh, symbol two, then you can change that. To whatever you want as simple as that also you can you can drag this up you can drag that up to decongest your drawing you can see that this is a view ee 
this the view this is the view ee right there Techlo will give you all all the information you 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 request for now you can see the welding size the welding thickness that, that, that this is the welding side welding side size i mean five millimeter you weld it all round this is what symbol says now this is where we are and also you can see the cleat here double click on that if you want to have a clear view of everything there you can come here and change and uh, increase the, the depth here to 500 the reason why I'm increasing that I'll show you and come here and modify and apply then uh, you accept apply and accept perfect you know the previous one this profile was not visible reason being is the depth was a bit shallow the same thing here you can see the cleat but uh, the beams kind of distorted down here we'll do the same thing here by double clicking by double clicking on it right there then uh, this view properties will come up we want to increase our view deep inside we'll give it a depth of 500 not 5000 or 50 we'll give it a depth of 500 then we'll come here and click modify let it accept then we apply and give it a uh, give it a node there by clicking accept drag this slightly down perfect there we are and this can be changed also by double clicking on that then come to symbols there pick that and accept that perfect we are the right track let's zoom out and do what we're doing actually doing we are just doing a retouch on our drawing uh, and a bit of customizing we come 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 there and write and pick symbol to modify apply and accept and that is labeled m6 and that is labeled f1 you will not be rendered confused at all so if you come to title block to if you come to material or uh, i mean the shop material list here for the for one assembly you will have the total weight of one ton here the total weight of one ton here and the total area of one rafter you have 26 i mean 26.6 square meter that will help you a lot if you, you're doing a calculation on uh, maybe you want to uh, to calculate uh, to the total amount of painting area of, of all the beams or of all the rafter beams now this is quite simple to change this now to fit on your title block is just you just come here and double click on the title block after double click on the title block you'll come to layout right there under layout you'll now be able to change the size of this drawing to a0 and uh, and let's drag this slightly up and uh, definition uh, the size definition mode is the specified size and you can adjust this to whatever dimension or to whatever size you want you can give it that and also you can change this to either one to either that size and layout we can give it a zero right there and come here and modify and wait for the result right there you go ahead and apply and accept apply and accept right there then zoom in you'll see it's closer to that now what will be remaining for you is just to to rescale the rafter 
after that you can go back and uh, and um, rectify the size of your title block thanks a lot for watching this video and this should apply for all the steps in the face manager drawing creation uh, i'll come back in, in part in the in the next uh, presentation where i'll highlight further on how to create drawings uh, with regard to face manager Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm your presenter, Maurice Dimba, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.